All right. Our fourth question comes from Miguel Pena, 1492. And he says, hey, Lone Wolf, I noticed that your channel seems to focus on old school movies from the mid to late 70s. Why can't you show some love to kung fu movies that came out before then? Why are you hating? <laughs> Laughing out loud. <laughs> Why are you hating? That's hilarious. Hey, uh, Miguel Pena, 1492. That's that's pretty funny. Um, ain't no hate, man. It's all love. It's all love. I love all kung fu movies, but there's levels to this. So let me start off with something. Let me just so we can be clear. Um, I started this channel. I started from a place of my youth, right? And I ain't that old. Right, I ain't that old. I didn't watch, I didn't see those movies in the 60s and early 70s. So um, I started with the movies of my youth, the movies that stimulated me, um, the movies that influenced me in the taking martial arts. Um, and when we started this channel, we decided that, well, what I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on the movies that I've shared with my son because this channel is really about me and Cub and what um, our journey has been um, in, in watching martial arts films. There is a buttload of martial arts films still that Cub needs to see. And if I'm being honest, so me too. So I have seen, I have seen a lot of the earlier stuff, but we are at this juncture in the channel we, which is still in its infancy, um, we are we are focusing right now on the kung fu movies that mid seventies and beyond, and we at some point we're gonna touch on those movies uh, and go backwards and touch on some of those movies, and we're gonna go forward too and do some more modern stuff, right? Um, I recently showed showed Cub uh, Rumble in the Bronx. And he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Um, still before his time, but modern, a modern martial arts film. And he loved it. So he's like, oh man, I can't wait. He's like, dad, can I do the review for that one? I'm like, absolutely. Right? So, I mean, we're we're trying to stay where we are, but I promise you, we, we will get there. Man, you don't even know the plans that I have for this channel. We want to do ninja movies, right? We want to do some korean joints we want to do some stuff from the philippines and southeast asia and man we dude we really we're gonna touch on some american stuff right i see you chuck norris i see you baby right <laughs> we're gonna, we gonna get on we're gonna get into some, some some american joints too man blood and bone you know what i'm saying michael jai white um yeah so there's no hate i just want to be 100 percent clear but but i will address your question full transparency and honest how i personally feel uh, having watched some of them not all of them please do not attack me in the comments <laughs> i find some of them to be a little bit boring and a little bit dry again my personal opinion I find it to be a little bit boring, a little bit dry. I would also say that I think the heroes aren't as charismatic as that next generation, right? That that mid to late seventies and on, right? Um, the Venoms, Jackie Chan, uh, Billy Chong, right? Those those real charismatic dudes, Chen Quan Tai, you know. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I, it, it's just a, it's just a preference thing, right? Um, but there are, there are some '60s and '70s martial artists that I do mess with. So I like Cheng Pei Pei. In fact, in fact, she's gonna be featured in our next profiles. Um, yeah, the Golden Dahlias of Shaw Brothers. So she'll be in that. Um, so I definitely, uh, I definitely mess with Cheng Pei Pei, um, Quan Tak Hing, come on, even his old stuff, his black and white stuff, I enjoy looking looking at that stuff. I really do. I enjoy those movies, man. Um, Quan Tak Hing, 
uh, Jimmy Wang Yu, right? I like I like some of his stuff. Um, Sonny Sheba, come on, bro. I'm not. There's no hate. <laughs> there's no hate. I just, in my personal view, um, in my personal view, I just come from a different era, and I kind of like what I was watching. Because when I was watching Samurai Sunday and Kung Fu Theater and going to the McVickers Theater, that's what they were showing, right? Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, right? Um, Lee Yi Min, right? They weren't showing, at least when, at my at my age. Now we're talking about, now we're talking about 80s. Growing up in the 80s, early 80s, right? There wasn't, they weren't focused on Ching Pei Pei or Kwan Tak Hing, right? So there's no hate. I think we have room for all of it. I love it all. Um, it's just, again, it's just a matter of, of preference. Um, one thing I left out, and I'll, I'll say it now. If, if Again, full transparency. Man, the fight cadence is way too slow for my liking. I don't like slow fighting. I don't like it. I don't think it's beautiful. I don't think I I just don't. I I like I like a faster cadence um in my fight choreography. I that's just it's just one of the ABCs of me, right? Um it it doesn't mean that I'm shitting on them. They're just a product of their time, right? And um I happen to know that um, in some of the earlier, we're just talking about Shaw Brothers movies, that they actually sped up the the film. Like, they just sped it up by, I don't know, I want to say they sped it up like 0.5 or something, just to give it a little bit more, a um, little more spice. Um, at least that's my understanding, right? I, I have great conversations with some martial arts film historians, and this is what I was told. So, I, yeah, I just dig it. Now, ridiculously fast, it depends on which movie, right? There's some really fast stuff that happens in, um, like, for example, Iron Monkey, right? With Donnie Yen. Um, there's some ridiculously fast stuff in Jet Li's movie, um, New Legend of Shaolin. And, again, it's ridiculously fast, but at the same time, you know, certain movies you let pass. But as far as slowness is concerned with those earlier films, bro, that ain't it. That ain't it. So I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> Michael Pena, 1492. There is no hate, though. I love it all. Ultimately, I love it all. And I still think that those things have value. And I think that they're important for us to watch. Sometimes we got to look back at our history so we can know where we're going. Right. And I don't I really I don't want to see this genre die. I don't. I love this genre and I don't want to see it die. So, hey man, if you love it, right? If you like it, I love it, right? It's your barbecue, it tastes good, all right? So I want to thank you, um, Michael Pena, 1492. Hey, in the chat, why don't you guys comment below and tell us which era do you like more? Do you like the 50s, the 60s era of martial arts? Do you like the 70s and 80s? Do you like the 90s and the 2000s? Let us know. All right, and let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Let's go.